Bay Trust and Rotorua Reo Rua, they were a good trust. It's a Tauru Tiaroa, uh, Takamori, the Rotorua Library. We have smaller sponsors in Jade Mountain, um, uh, Pono, Nielsen Books, Red Stack, Pakia Fu, GHA, and uh, of course, McLeod's. Um, you'll see behind me these books, and Tenga will talk to them. Um, and Tenga, is, he comes from a line of more tia, tia composers. Not just his mother and father, but his family from Nātifikaui, or I, I, I call him the Haere Hoka family, along with Norma. And um, Haere Hoka was such a good composer that there's two or three of his more tia, tia that Tauranga Moana do religiously, which always shocks me, you know. And one is what Tamarangi, Tamarangi was killed over there at a battle and to stop his body being um, defiled, he was actually uh, cremated. And the, and the legend is that as he was being burned, Haere Hoka composed the way Kahara, Te Harai, Matarai, Matamaki. But he's... You know, if you think of uh, Two Hoi's uh, famous composer, Mihiki Te Kapua, for Te Arawa, um, it would be Haere Hoka. Yeah, he's got different names, Taiki, Haere Hoka Taua. Uh, I get mixed up, but the, the Uri will know. And so, you know, it comes down, Rawiri, um, in his own right, was a composer, and Tenga, as you know, um, works hard with the Kapua or Hati Kakoe, composer. And I'm going to invite him to come up here and talk about this publication. I had originally asked him to talk about how he brought back to life in the Moors lament for Titanicai. Because there was a challenge put down to all Māori them by Timo Tikarati, or through Timo Tikarati, who said, How are they here? What they are tapri to herangi ki a oromai ano ngā kupu tupu. You've got all these motia tia in books. Tribal books in La Monte and Kari what Kari to wait. It could have more health training. But that's one that for you know uh Anne John I know down at Walker. Clark has taught all of Rudy Kukupa, so it's a strong out there here at Tunaku and uh, it's one that's beautiful. It, we had a talk last night at, uh, at Tarima, and Dr. Nepio Mahuika said one of the many, he's got a whole lot of books on the go. One of them that he's trying to do is on Makutu. And so I said, oh, in Hinemo's Way of the Tangi for Tutanikai, she talks about the Rua Hairoa. Have you ever heard of that? And the Rua Hairoa is a whole that the Tohunga would say their Makutu into. So I thought, oh, well, we'll give him a towel of a slant on Makutu. Not that we're angry Makutu. <laughs> he said himself, as a kid, he grew up, he feared, oh, sorry, no, Po Timara told him the two iwi Makutu that he grew up fearing were Waikato, Katikati Rakan, and Taranaki. Taranaki. Yeah, somehow. You know, us being a more nurturing Iwi, we didn't get into much. So you know, we get the way here with Tina. Alo mai la kai kranga kia. Hei a koe tawa e mihi ana kia koe tofana. I fai kaha kia fakaut fai ai te poko poko kai tima te hea e rau tono. No mai hau. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tikana, kia whakataki hia i hau taku kauhau i tēnei ahi ahi pō I roto i tō tātou tūpuna whare nei a tama te kapua Ki tērā o ngā tino mō te atea o Ngāti Whakaue A tērā koe a ngā urufe tū Whā te koutou i waenga nui i wera atu A te kapara, engari e mau tonu ana te rangi E mau tonu ana ngā kōrero tuku iho, ngā ingoa o tira ko ngā kupu, e mau tonu ana e ngā uri whakaheke. Ai runga i tērā whakaaro, kei aku nui, kei aku rahi, kei aku whakatamarahi ki te rangi, kei aku whakateitei ki te whenua. Tēnā tātou, ko whakaraueka mai ki te poho o tō tātou tupuna whare nei, a ko rarau mai ki runga i tō tātou marae tapu, a te papa i ōru e hora nei, i runga i te reo rāhiri o te rā ara ko te mō te atea. Nā ko te wāhi ki au i tēnei ahi-ahi, ko te whakamārama i te ōrokohanga mai o te pukapuka nei i tīmataria e tōku pāpa e rāwirirangi tawira. O ti rā, ahakoa te tono kia āta whakamārama hia te pukapuka i whakāroa ki au, kia whakamārama hia tonu tia e hau tētahi wāhanga o te waiata, o te waiata tangi ahine moa ki tāna makau kia tūtāne kai. Nā reira rua ngā wāhanga. Kia ora. Nā reira tuatahi me i tika ana kia mihia, kia tangihia i tātou ngā mate o te wā, o ngā wiki, o ngā marama, o te tau, ko ahori, Rātou ko hāua e te kupenga nui o Taramainuku Ki tērā o ngā toa taua o te reo Māori a Anaru Rao Nō te marama koahori Kapohia ia e te ringa o hine nui te pō Hei aha, hei tāo ngā whakapaipai o te tīpare O hine kuku tangata Nā reira ngā mate Haere takahia te ara te hokia Takoto ki te moenga te arahia Haere Haere atu koutou. E huri ana kia koutou ngā hāpai o, ngā amorangi o tēnei kaupapa. Kia koe, kei taku pāpa, rangitihi. Kōrua ko tōku whaea, whaea mākoha. Koutou ko tō kōrua tīma. E upoko pakaru ana, e whakapeto ngoi ana, ke whakatūri a tēnei kaupapa whakahirahira. Tēnei kaupapa rangatira e whakakao nei i te hunga i a tātou a ngai Māori e whakatairanga ana i tō tātou reo me o tātou tikanga nā reira kaore e ārikari ka ngā mihi kia koutou. Kia koe, kei taku tuakana, kei taku rangatira praone, nau mai hoki mai ki tō papatākaro. Tēnei a... Ngāti Whakaue e iwi e mihi nei kia koe Ngāti Raukawa Tēnei te kapahaka o Ngāti Whakaue e mihi nei kia koe mō tai tangata rau Tēnei rua matā e mihi nei kia koe Lakes High Nau mai hoki mai Nōku te honore te tū nei ki tēnei atamira mi tō taha Nā tētahi o aku huai mea mai 
So my name is Tenga Rangi Tawira, Itikana ke korero Pakeha hoki e. Kia mara ma te katoa. Uh, my name is Tenga Rangi Tawira and I'm a secondary school teacher at Te Kura Orua Mata and um, I'm also one of the head tutors of Te Kapahakao Ngāti Whakau. So I hope that gives me a little bit of merit to be here tonight. Uh, nā reira. Thank you. Nā reira, ko te kiri a tarā o tōna tikanga ka purei hia. Um, kaore tōna oro e ngari he Hui hui ngā o ngā kiriata mai te rā i whakare waina e mātou te pukapuka nei uh, I te marama o Aperira So in April this year we finally launched um, this book that my father started Probably all the way back in 2010 Now on his, um, on his passing in 2014 um, What was left to us, his children and his uh, wife were all his affairs and uh, fortunately for me, or unfortunately for me, this uh, book was placed in front of me, in front of me to uh, complete. And there were actually, he, Dad had actually um, started researching a hundred more te of Ngāti Whakaui. However, that was too much. <laughs> so, if Whakaaro Ake Mato, the whānau decided that we would do 40 waiata, of Ngāti Whakauri. Uh, some are very old, very ancient, from Hawaii Kirano, and some are um, from recent times. We use the model of Ngāmo Te Atea by uh, Tāpirana Ngata, um, and obviously he had a lot of uh, Ngāti Whakauri and Te Arua Mō Te Atea in his book, so all we had to do was almost copy and paste, um, some of his waiata. Um, so he was a, that book, those big books were a huge influence on um, Te Kohinga Mō Te Atea, or Ngāti Whakauri. Um, ka hoki ake ngā whakaaro, ki a rātou mā i hāpai tēnei kaupapa, so there are many people who helped ngā hāpai o tēnei kaupapa. It wasn't just the whānau, um, there are some faces there who are still with us, and there are some faces who have passed on. Um, some people wouldn't let me um, use their photo. Well, he mihi nui tēnei ki te rahunga i hāpai tēnei kaupapa um, kia tutu ki ai. Kei noho tātou ka whakaaro nā te whānau o Rāwiri Noiho kao um, nā tātou katoa tēnei puka puka. Okay, ka hoki rāno ngā whakaaro ki te wā o haumai tawhiti. So waiata number nine in the book, te ngeri a haumai tawhiti, which is believed to have been composed 
during the Battle of Tuwhakangenengene in Hawaii. Coming down the Whakapapa to Waiata 19, he Waiata Mau Mahara, composed by the chief of the Patipaerehe tribe that was living on Momotaha during the time of Ihema. <coughs> Coming down the Whakapapa, Tūrangi Whakaekeo, Waiata, Ruatekau Māwhitu, a lullaby for his son, Rangi Te Aurere. Coming down to Hinemoa and Tutanekai, on the death of a Waiata Namafitsu, on the, on the death of her husband uh, Tutanekai, she composed this lament, which I will explain later on. Heke iho, kia haere huka, nā i kōrero a matua rangitihi mo haere huka. We have a total of seven of his com uh, compositions in the book. Um, waiata te kau, ki te waiata te kau mā unu, te kau mā whetu. Heke iho, heke iho, ki tōku kraua kia tenga, kei roto rā tētahi o wana tītonga, nā raua ko kato flevo, o ngā tirangi uemihi. Coming down to my mother, Takuta Kathy Dews. I don't know, I should first, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> Mum. <laughs> there are two compositions in the book, one of which is her lament to her um, son, Te Huangaro, uh, which was a twin of, he was a twin of Murehu. Hi, my name is Hope, Tene Ihu Hupe. Um, I have two songs, two more te atea in there, and I guess that's one of the uh, luxuries of uh, writing your own book and producing it. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, but yeah, so te kau mā rua kau, te roa ki te tuhi, te puka puka nei. A lot of hours, a lot of stress, a lot of arguing, um, disagreements. Um, he oi anō, uh, we got it done. And at the end of the day, I'd like to see this book as um, sort of a last project between my dad and uh, mum because basically mum took it on, um, took the book on at the end. Um, you know, he taumata me eke um, and, and you know if it wasn't there then mum would come in and say oh well, me rangahau, haereke te ui ui te ra tangata, um, kia tino tika ai tēnei puka puka. And katika me pera, aha ko te hoha, katika me pera. <laughs> Nā, ka toko ake te pāta, hea ha tēnei mea te motea teo. A kāre kore ka, ka whānui, ka hohonu te whakamāramatanga uh, paraone mo tēnei mea te motea teo. Um, but to me, um, ko te motea teo is he matapihi. He matapihi te motea teo ki te ao o tātou tūpuna. We, um, some people seem to think it's, it's words and a melody, but it's far more than that. Kei roto i ngā moteatea, within the moteatea there are secret knowledges, um, such as customs. Um, it gives us a window into the language at the time. It gives us uh, insight into their beliefs. It gives us insight into um, uh, the poetic licenses uh, that the composer might use and also to their way of thinking and their emotions and I think that's quite a privilege um, that we get to see to see that so kei roto i o tātou mō te atea ngā taonga hei kia pakari ake ai tō tātou ahurea and I truly believe that uh, i tupu mai au i rua matā and I can still remember from the age of six um, every morning for about a half an hour we had to lie on our back and rehearse uh, mō te atea. And not only mō te atea of Ngāti Whakaue and Te Aroa, but we also learnt mō te atea of other tribes. Um, for example, when we went and stayed in Maunga Pōhatu, we learnt Te Kōti's Waiata. Kaore te pōne i mōri ka i ka noa te ohonga I te ao rapu ka unoa, 
ko te mana Tuatahi ko te tiriti o waitangi ko te mana Tuarua ko te koti whenua ko te mana Tuatoru ko te mana motu hake Now, we learnt that by ear and it doesn't matter how long it is between when we sing it, I, I can never forget the, the kupu. Another one we learnt when we went and stayed in the region of the tribes of the east coast of Ngāti Poro, a, a, a lullaby called Popo, And it's long. <laughs> so you could just imagine us as you know, seven, eight years old thinking, when does this end? It might, it might have been a whole year of 30 minutes every morning on lying on our back. Popo e tangi ana tama ki te kai mana, wai ho me tiki a ke ki te pau aha kai, hei a mai te paka ke ki utara, hei wai u mo tama ki a ho mai, e tō tupuna e ue nuku whakarongo ko te kumara, ko parinu i te rā ka hiki mata te tapu wai o tangaro a ka whai mata te tapu wai o tangaro a tangaro a. And it goes on for another five minutes, maybe longer. But those were the, that's what was instilled into us. And I think that's what's influenced uh, my love for more te ateo. As a kapahaka tutor, and I'm not sure if Praone agrees with me, but I think, uh, personally, I think more te ateo is um, the most important item on the stage. Uh, one being, I think it's, as a spectator, you get to see each individual's uh, personality. Whereas in the other items, we're sort of trained or tutored into being very similar because we don't want points deducted. Um, it's all about competition, right? But in Motiatia, you actually get to see a, um, each individual bring this themselves to the waiata, um, which is why it's my favourite. But most importantly, um, it's the poetry of in Motiatea, the imagery, um, personifications, uh, the similes and the metaphors. It's all really beautiful, and I and I'll use that fakatoki iti te kupu nui te korero. So kuera nga ahua tanga kua arahi yaho, and and that's why I think it's um, Motiatea ko ya te tahi onga tino taonga. Um, a te Māori. Thank you. For example, can I move away? Kare te rongo reo ni. Kaha ake taku reo. For example, I'd like to use Waiata number seven by Hede Moa, te tau e. Keria mai au ki te rua haeroa, a ngaro waira a te wairua. Matsurangiti, he touched on this this evening. Bury me within the pit of the destruction of our enemies, wherein the soul shall perish. Nareira, um, just really quickly, when um, they, dug, they dug two pits, one for the body of the deceased, and the other if they wanted to exterminate their wairua as well um, from moving on to another realm or from, for, from roaming um, te ao kiko kiko nei, like he said, they, the tohunga would do a karakia ana ka ngaro hoki te wairua o te tangata. Now, there are, you can use this as two interpretations. Um, did hine moa mean herself? Did she not want to live here without her husband? Or is it a metaphor of how deep her pauritanga was or how deep her depression was? Now, we will never know. And again, that matapihi that we are looking through, you know, it, it can be obscured, but we can just do our very best to understand uh, what our ancestors meant by um, these sentences. So that's an example of tikanga where Hinemoa 
has referenced Te Rua Hairoa, and had we not discovered the song, possibly this tikanga would have been lost as well. So not only have we um, revived the waiata, we've also revived a tikanga. Huriana ki te reo mō te atea, and I hope Praone doesn't mind. Waiata 39, <coughs> e tangi au ki te rua koa i te rangi. A wā te atau, te noho anga, o te whetu, i kō rata rata ai. He reo mō te atea tēnei. Where, he can speak to this um, later on, but I, my understanding is he is comparing, likening the deceased to a star that is no longer in the emptiness that they have left behind. And I think that's, just, that's really beautiful. Um, and that was something Praone had composed for Dad um, on his passing. Oh yes, the Whakapakea tanga is beautiful as well. Kei roto hoki ngā mō te atea te hitori, te whānui tanga o ngā kōrero tuku iho. And I'd like to use the way up another pahi. E tama nātou pai tiaki tōmika. Ki a pera tia haura ki me ihu moto moto ki a me so rather than explaining the entirety of the battle between Ngāpuhi and Te Arawa i Te Horonga o Mokoia, he instead refers to two battles that took place prior, one of which was on Hawaiki, Ihu Motomotokia, and the other shortly after they landed in Aotearoa but both between Ngātoroi Rangi and his brother-in-law, Manaya. But I think that's just really clever, you know, that, that whakaro, iti te kupu nui te kōrero. He got the two names of those battles to describe what happened here in Rotorua. And whakapono, the beliefs. Ko ngā kura huna katoa enei, I'd like to use song... Now his use of hine arangi um, might be new to a lot of us. Uh, a, a deity that he believed could look after or guide the deceased. Um, he didn't say hine nui te pō, hine kuku tangata, he didn't say tāne nui ārangi, he didn't say tāne whirinaki or tūmatauenga, but hine ārangi, a deity that is really used or believed in um, nowadays. So it sort of gives us an insight into what he believed in. And if you can um, imagine the auahi, the smoke, from burning the body of his, of his tama, could be nephew, not 100% sure, but watching that smoke rise and him saying those words, e hine arangi, hi koia mai tatau a manu, um, yeah, it gives us an insight into what he believed in as well. Thank you. Okay, ka huri tātou inaia nei ki te waiata te taue nā hine moa. Um, really briefly, you can see there the words and the translations. And it gives us an insight into Hinemoa and Tutanika. I think we have this, pers um, pers um, you know, we seem to think it's this fairy tale where, yeah, Hine the princess sort of swam over and got with the prince and everyone lived happily ever after. Um, however, this waiata sort of makes them seem a little bit more human. Um, and within the kupu, uh, you, can, you can see that. And we've studied this really hard. And, you know, tērā pia kāre koutou te whakaae mai, ana kei te pai tērā, kei te pai tērā. Um, rārangi tuatahi. 
te taua, te taua te rau. Te tau a te rau. was liked by everybody by a lot of people it gives us uh, uh, an insight into the type of, type of person he was now if we are to believe the popular story of um, that Tutanekai was the bastard child of dare I say of uh, Tufaretoa the fact that Whakauwe's Uretarewa descended through him I think says a lot about Tutanekai and also says a lot about the type of person Whakauwe was. Um, however, there is another version in the book. Um, yes, anyway. Hare Tonu Varangi Fa speaks of Mokoroa. Taurukeiroto te niho Mokoroa Kaheke uh, explained that Mokoroa is a god of diseases. So, with Henemwa using that in this um, lament, we can assume that Tutanekai died of a disease, and the line after that suggests that it was quite a cruel um, death. Peke Ngahuru. If we could imagine the disease sort of consuming him with its many limbs. Um, so it's sort of showing the, how much, how deep the um, disease was. Um, and I think that's quite um, telling as well. Heke iho. Kite rārangi whitu. Tīkina mai au whakawaire katia. Kia hoki ake ai te korou ki te ao. Take me away and appease my soul so that desire for this world returns. Um, I think we can, all, that we can all sort of relate to the deep sadness um, Hinemwa was going through um, after the passing of her um, beloved one. I hope my mother doesn't mind, but um, during the tangihanga, the passing of dad, um, and I've just spoken to a friend of mine about this too, there was a moment there where she couldn't see herself uh, being here, and her, her actual words were, um, kaore aku take i kone. And, it, you know, it, as much as it ripped me apart, I knew I was there at that moment when she wanted to share that information and I had to be a beacon of light for her. So I couldn't break down. So I said to her, Pehea o mokopuna. Whakaruhi o mokopuna. Um, in addition to that, I think it's really amazing how our ancestors um, held tangihanga over several days because what I saw with mum, and I'm sure you see the same thing, is that those, that time of grieving is really important. Um, I think a lot of our loved ones, a lot of us go through um, a deep sadness, a deep depression, but through Fano and loved ones, um, over those days and hearing the stories, I think we get pulled out of that um, to a certain extent. And, um, and we saw that, we saw that with mum. Every day almost there was a it looked like a taumahatanga had been lifted off her. So those words, you know, Hinemo is, is saying, please, is pleading to something, a higher power, to pull her out of this um, sadness. Pretty gay, beautiful. <laughs> Te kau mā te kau, keri a mai au ki te rua hairoa, 
Aharoaira te wairua, and we've just spoken about that, so I won't repeat that. But within that waiata, um, e hia nei ngā kurahuna roto. That's what kurahuna is. It's giving us a window into their world. And um, yeah, koe nei tētahi o aku tino mō te atea. I just want to quickly talk about how this came about. I won't, yeah, I only have a half an hour, so. Um, in 2010, when I started my researching five of Haere Huka's moteatea for a, a master's thesis at Waikato University, um, I had to interview Dad, who was my uh, main source of information. And I think that was when the seed was planted in Dad to start researching the many moteatea of Ngāti Whakaui. Anyway, one day at Waikato University, I went to the library and started reading through Te Rangi Kahiki's manuscripts, and they were huge, they're these humongous books. Um, I was probably, maybe I was hungover, I'm not sure. Um, however, I stumbled across Te Taue by Hinemoa. I was thinking, no, this can't be our Hinemoa, this must be a descendant. So anyway, I took a photo with my, what would have been maybe an iPhone 1, um, took some notes, uh, wrote everything down. Te Rangi Kahiki had some exp explanations there. And I brought it back to Rotorua and asked some of my koeke and dad, ko rongo koe te nei waiata? Kare tētahi, kare no tētahi rongo. So I sat on it. Um, in 2011, I was a part of the Manaya. Those of you who remember, Manaya um, <laughs> Kapahaka, led by Iraya Kiu and Tania Kiu. I was a part of the creative team, and we needed a poi. And I said, oh, look, I found this. Um, I think it's a composition by Hinemoa. So we used it as a poi at the Nationals in, um, in Te Tairawhiti. However, I don't think we did it justice. It was a beautiful tune, um, but it didn't take. No one spoke about it. Um, it just didn't seem right. So in 2013, the tutors of Ngākura Kaupapa Māori o Te Puku said, hey, we hear you've got some words by Hinemoa. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Manaya used it, don't they? Oh, we want to use it for uh, um, a moteatea. So they put a tune, a uh, uh, um, melody, I shouldn't say tune, they put a melody to the kupu, and all of a sudden, things came to light. So they, they win the regionals with that moteatea, they win more at nationals the following year. Our primary school then done it and won regionals and nationals. And then in 2018, Ngāti Whakau had done it and we came second. <laughs> but still we placed. And, um, and then, you know, Ngāti Whakau started, you know, what is this waiata? Please teach it to us. Now at that competition in 2018, Parao Negloin was a judge. And not f a few weeks later, he messages me and he says, um, E tenga, i te tatariau mo te wātika me te tangata tika. And what Praone had, after seeing us at regionals, what Praone had was, can you push the next? What Praone had was kupu written by, composed by, to Tanekai. And I was absolutely blown away. I was walking, I was at Waikuta, I can still remember the moment. I was walking across what would have been our Korotenga's homestead. Uh, we sort of, we busted it down. I had my phone on me and when I saw the kupu, I broke down in tears. Because it all came rushing back. The fact that in 2010, a higher being, Te Ao Wairua, chose tenga, chose hungover tenga, <laughs> um, and said, a nei ngā kupu, a tō tupuna kuia. And then, fast forward eight years, Praone sees Ngāti Whakaui on the stage, and he has the same light bulb. He, <laughs> did you? He's saying he, did, he gave 100. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. 
Um, and I just thought it was, yeah, I thought, okay, I'm, I've been put here. If this is all I've been put here to do, to assist, to bring these two waiata back to life, I'm happy with that. Um, nā reira, i waiata hia e mātou, te waiata nei ki um, ngā whakatai, ngā te matatini, ki pōneke i te taurua mano te kaumā iwa. And we placed fourth, which is pretty good. Um, you know, there's about 50-something groups. It was our highest placed item, so we're very proud of that. But, um, yeah, I just think it's a really beautiful story, and I'd like to use the the term mahi a te wairua, which is, um, which is coined by, I think, um, Taku Te Kathy Dews, te mahi a te wairua. Um, you know, it's sort of nā ngā wairua, nā te ao wairua tērā i arahi, kia putake ai ki te ao. So not only have we resurrected a, a waiata by hine moa, but we've resurrected tikanga, we've resurrected whakapono, We've resurrected real, you know, all those beautiful things that come with Te Ao Māori. And now, if we look at um, Tutanekai's composition, it's probably, going by the kupu, it's probab it was probably composed um, when they were courting. Um, the first line. Nā te waka kei te kōpua. Hei waka mai mō ki mō koia. Now te kōpua is, an, is, a, uh, is on mō koia. Um, sort of, if you think of kaiweka, which is the main base of, on mō koia, it's on the total opposite side of mō koia, te kōpua. And there was a... Um, there was a, uh, a, a little pā there, which is no longer. But pronim um, the fact that it says na, I'm wondering, and, and he didn't use ra, so I'm wondering if we can assume that he's, he's saying na, um, that Hinemoa was still on Mokoya, maybe. Um, and we all know the story that Hinemoa's father um, objected to this, to them getting together because he was a bastard child. Um, so they pulled all the waka at Ofata to shore so she couldn't paddle back over to Mokoya. So he knew this, Tutanika knew all this, and he's saying that there's the waka at Te Kopua. So we've got Tutanika and Hinemoa when they were first courting, we've got Tutanika and Hinemoa um, on, on, well, coming on death. So that's a whole lifetime together, the, the beginning and the end. So tino a tāhua tērā kia hau. Um, a nei te tū a uh, te kapahaka o Ngāti Whakau e te taurua mano te kau maiwa. You'll see there are, there's a lot of emotion. You'll see a lot of emotion. Uncontrollable emotion, emotion too. And I've come to the point as a tutor, and I'm only, I'm, honestly, I've only been tutoring for not long, compared to others. Uh, but I've, I sort of give them rein to do whatever they want as long as they understand the kurahuna within the moteatea. You know, um, so you'll see one uh, wahine, she sort of falls onto her knees and basically she's just, she is wailing because she couldn't control it. She was thinking about her auntie who had recently passed away and she couldn't control her emotions. Now, some tutors will say, what the heck was that? You just lost us two points. But I didn't say that. You know, other people from my couple were saying, oh my God, did you see her? <laughs> and I said, yes, I did. And I liked it. Um, and it didn't matter what the judges said, because that's what she felt, singing the kupu that her kuya composed. Um, yeah. Nā reira, ka waihotiake taku kōrero ki konei. Um, kea kunui, kea kurahi, tēnā rawa te koutou i tai mai, tēnei ahi ahi pō, uh, ki te whakarongo ki tēnei hihupe. Um, and I hope, I hope you got to take something away from this, um, this kauhau. Uh, nā reira, huri huri noe tō tātou whare. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Play!
Well, look, um, if you don't have the money and you want to take a book, Katie Pai, and we'll just email, whatever. Kia ora. Tenga, tene ka mihi kia koe. Tū nei koe he raukura mō tō iwi o ngā tūtukau. Trevor, you won't mind if on behalf of the library I order four copies at the ratepayers' expense. I'll be taking them at the end of the night. <laughs> now, you'll know, you may know that we have a, a no fines policy at the library. That doesn't mean you can come and steal these books. Prawnek uh, Loin, he'll tell you he grew up on the east side. <coughs> All Fata Primary, Mukoya Intermediate, Lakes High. And uh, what amazed me about Prawnek was not his real, which is really fantastic now. It was he, he could recite uh, soliloquies from Shakespeare by heart. And I always wanted to ask you, you know, Prawnek, why? <coughs> But he was massive, massive talents, really brilliant at Tereo, not so hot at Fazit, <laughs> not so hot at Mass. <laughs> but uh, he disclosed to us this morning that at the age of eight he had decided that he was going to go home to Wharepūnga, to Te Awamutu, and put his roots down there, abandoning the fish and chip shop at uh, Got some boys high, the boys high fish, fish and chip shop. And um, we all know he basically from, uh, you know, from Te Kore resurrected a, or built up Motai Tangatarau and Kapaka to national level. You know, fabulous. Uh, when we thought of this night, my, my favourite composition of his is uh, a party that the Motai Tangatarau did in Christchurch, eh? And it had this, what do you, I don't know what call it, had this uh, line at the end, or well, this phrase at the end, kapai, da 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 kapai, da 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 kapai. And I thought, oh, that's choice. You know, he did it about a thousand times. Um, I didn't learn anything else of that. But it was a neat part of it because he was paying tribute to chiefs who were alive. And most part of it, it's, you know, and so he's really talented. And I remember him being a composer at Lakes High, you know, for his peers. The teacher was too lazy to do it, so he did it. <laughs> I'm not talking about your mother, Aramoan. <laughs> but then I saw on Facebook that he had just composed an audio for Nati Rokoa, and his desire was that it be learnt by all of Ngāti Raukaua. And I thought, oh, I asked Prani, would you do that, Prani? Um, and actually, under an hour, Kaitan, 7.30. <laughs> because it's a genre that we don't do in Tauroa. You know, there's that Rangi Tauroa one, um, but you could say that's actually a, a Mātātua audio, not a, you know, it relates to Rangi Tauroa. Um, and it, it'd be neat for someone from this night get inspired and then, you know, you, you, when you see um, Ngāti Whakau at the regionals, uh, they're doing an like audio. <laughs> so, hara mai e hoa, hara mai e kei a koe tēnei o ngā. Mai te mai A te mahu hui tātou katoa. A i tō tātou whare rūnanga. A i atama te kapu e tū nei. E rūnanga nei tātou i ngā taonga tuku iho. A o tātou mātua tūpuna. Kua ngā ro. Engari e o rāna i roto i tēnā, i tēnā, i tēnā o tātou. Nō reira kea kura ngā tira. Ngā ti whakau e. Me o piripiringa, me o wehewehenga o tira te aroa whānui. 
a tenei taku tau tamaiti, ko hoki mai ki a koutou i runga i te aroha. Ko nga mihi katoa a tōku ranga tira i whārikitia ki runga i te papa i te ahi ahi pō nei e tautoko ngia ana ea. Ara te kōrero, te tahi o ngā kōrero a wharehuia, a te wharehuia. Ka hoki mai anau ki konei ka rongo tonu au i taku noho anga i konei i te uhu ngao niwa. Anā ko tētahi o ngā kōrero a wharehuia, he whenei, i nga inu koe i te wai me mahara koe ki te puna. I nga koe inu i te wai me mahara koe ki te puna. If you drink the water, remember the spring from whence the water came from. Koe nga te tahi whakapākia tangāhu a pai nei. Nga i roto i tērā whakāro kai te e hoki mai anau ki tētahi o ngā puna i whai wahi ai au, i inu ai au, nōku e tupu ana i wainganui au koutou te aroa. Ka ki te au i āra moana, ko tō whai a tonu tētehi. Nāna mātau i whakāko e ai ki tāna ki te tū a ngā wahine o te aroa, Me te aha, i whai wahi mātou ki tō pāpa ki a te pōroa. Kāko, i etahi o ngā pātere, me ki tētai o ngā pātere a Ngāti Pukiao. I ki te au i te whakāhu o te hiko o te rangi. Ko ia tō mātou kau mātua, nō mātou i te kura Māori o Puketāwhero. Ko ia te ingoa tō mātou mātou. Wāhanga nga taku rangatira nei, e whakaiti nei i aia, i mua i aia, engari e noho rangatira tonu ana ki au. Rangitihi e noho nei, ko ia te reo rua tuatai ki taku mōhio, bilingual, engari they label us the by mongols. Me te ha, ka fiua mai ngā trainee teachers ki a mātou, and if they could survive us, they could teach anywhere. Engari kāroha ranga whakāro, ki tērā wā, o tira, piatarihi, antipi, a koronapi, koe anō tētahi o ngā kaiako i tērā wā, koe atō mātou kaiako toi. We had a few tuki-tuki. Mā wa tahi, I did my work experience with him, I was 14, ka tuku au ki te wānong o te aroa. I raro i a napi, a i a koronapi. A nā, a taku mokopuna tēnei. A... I a tenga e kōrero ana mō te ako a taringa nei, ako Māori, koe nga te ako Māori, learning by ear. A tōna was one of my past teachers of mō tētea, and he ran wānanga then e te Pākira. Ka tai mātou ki te Pākira, there would be three or four of us. He would have a hirihiri, nā nau i ako ki te hirihiri, he karakia kāre he kupu. A nā nā au i ako ki tērā tikanga. And we would have a hirihiri in Wāhiao, and there'd be four or five of us. And then he would switch the lights off, and he would get into it. E te mūra koe te tai nei, i re re o maki koutou. E te mūra koe ka whakarongo anō. Nā, koe nga tana whakāko i a mātou. E rua e toru pea nā mō tētea nā nā i ako mai. Nā tana tipuna nā pene te ngongau. Ki taku mahara. And I'd recently given those mō tētea to te Māori. Kia whakaora ti aera, because I don't think any of my mates remember them. Nō reira nā koe tuku. Me te tini nō atu. I au e whakarongo ana ki te kai ora ora rā, tērā koe a ngā uru whetu. Ka whakaarau ki a korohapi. Me te kuia paira wātu mō te whakatautau Nanny Bonnie. Ki au, kuia te tauira o te whakatautau. Tērā kuia ana kua ngaro katoa rātou. Nō reira kui nei o e mihi nei ki te puna. Ne, i inu au i te wai, a ko hoki mai au ki te puna. And yes, we had the Bellevue Fist of Pride for 25 years. Our best customers were Mauri Ora Kingi, 
and the kepa. Every Christmas, Mary and I would come in two days before Christmas. We always had, always had his order ready of 10 pannats of oysters, 20 pannats of kina. And ka kōrero Māori māua, fe rā noa te kepa, he was another regular. And I met a lot of people in the fish shop. Ana ka kōrero rero mātou, and of course mātātua was just across the way. So one day, Auntie Chrissy Pāpuni comes in, she says, boy, uh, mātātua ki rotoru intermediates need a haka for um, ahurei. Ana i te kaupapa, hiku taia. Me atsa, koea hiku taia. He tanifa. Okay, Nana uh, te Māori Battalion, te hoko whitu atu i, I arahi, i tāwahi. So I got all this kōrero, this is all happening in the fish, fish shop while I'm taking orders. You know, six mussels, egg burger, runny egg, <laughs> cheeseburger, double cheese, underdone, and I got Auntie Chrissy, Matero roa pāpuni, mohi paia no koutou ki aia. E kōrero mai ana ki au, ngā kōrero hiku taia, te tanifa nei, te tupua. So I wrote this haka. And I, well, I said, when do you want it, auntie? She said, oh, I need it now, because the intermediates are practicing. <laughs> and I think she brought um, Celia with her. I think, it was, I think it was Celia. And I taught them the mana wataki before, between taking orders and cooking with my mother. Lucky my dad was on, it was a Tuesday night, which was golf. It was golf day, motaku papa, no reira, karia i because you wouldn't have had a bar of that. So while I was taking orders, kei te tito au i te haka, ma, ma, ma tātua intermediates, teaching C and Auntie Christy the mana wataki, and I wrote it on the back of a burger <laughs> packet. <coughs> ne? Ka tukua ki a rātou. Mai mai i arohau ki te mō tētea. Ne? And um, oh, it was really, it was wonderful this morning, I spoke to our tamariki, uh, kei reira tō mokopuna, ne? Uh, Mariana, uh, te kura kaupapa Māori o uh, huranga te rangi. So another thing, eh, talking to young kids. Man, you got to engage. And, um, I didn't even get a PowerPoint ready for them because they didn't care about PowerPoints, tamariki. But I think he rau e rau Anyway, i kiki ngā tamariki, i meo ki a rātou, i au e ohi ana, e paku paku ana. We used to have um, Bible studies and if you remember, religious studies, ne, roto i and all the Jehovah Witnesses would leave. <laughs> hey, we were, why are they going? <laughs> anyway, um, ka tai mai tētahi o ngā kaya ko paipera, and this particular, and it's really cool, they had those storyboards with the sticky things, and they used to put the stickers on them, and tell stories about the, pai, the Bible, the paipera. Ko te atahu ai tēnei ata, ka pātau ki ngā tamariki. E mohi ona koe te hea te paipira? Kaare te tai mohi o hea te paipira, I was going, e pai ana tēnā. <laughs> anyway, um, the kayako we had, kia ora tau hini, the kayako we had, she told us about how, uh, the, how Kraitiana came to Te Arawa. And it was through Ngāti Haua. And I think it was actually Ngāti Whakaue, uh, mā koutou e whakatika mai. I haere ki te, you know, ngā whawhai wai ngā nui a te arawa me ngā te haua, he nui. I won't go here, won't speak about te wāroa. <laughs> a hui anō, te tērā te waka haere a te arawa ki te ngaki i ngā mate o waira. And as they had the village that they um, stormed or the pā, i reira te te kōtiro, she had a Bible, and the Bible came back. And that's the first Bible i tai mai ki te arawa. Anyway, koera te kōrero. So he kōrero ana te kai akua, he pākeha. Then she asked all the kids in the room, put your hand up if you're from Te Arawa. Now I'm eight, eight, nine. Put your hand up if you're from Te Arawa. All my mates put their hands up. And I was going, am I Te Arawa? <laughs> what is Te Arawa? Who is Te Arawa? What's Te Arawa? Ka tino, ka no. Kikini nei te rai taku ngākau. Anaka hoki au ki te kāinga. And when my mum got home that night, I said to her, Mum, are we te arawa? She said, Kao, yo ngāti rau kawa, ko tō waka ko tainui. And I just had this epiphany at that moment, and I realised then, this is why all my mates only have to drive 10 minutes. Ne? Well, if you're on Roto 20 minutes, but longer, 
and we have to drive an hour and a half back to our car. And I said to my mum, at that very young age, I said, Mum, when I leave school, ka hoki au ki te kainga. Said at a very, very young age, ka reo i kura kaupapatia, ka reo i kohanga reo tia, but i tupua ke au i wainga nui te reo. My mother said she couldn't speak a word of Māori. She had a few cup of teas, and she was totally fluent. <laughs> and uh, just recently, two years ago, Tainui produced a, a, a dictionary, and a few of the words that I heard my mother use and my tupuna my kuya use are in the dictionary. So I, I had the best of both worlds, te arawa and growing up with my own people, um, of Raukawaki Whare Puhuma. Now, when I used to go home, back then, um, if there was anything at the pa, and we grew up, grew up calling it the pa, and I suppose a lot of you still call it the pa, we, we didn't really know the, the kupu marae, ko te pa, ko te kupu nira. Going to the pa, what's happening at the pa? There's a hui at the pa, there's a tangi at the pa. Norea, mama said, oh, going back to the pa, hoki māua. And because I lived here, um, I didn't have to go on the bus. So all the kids at the pa, they still had to catch the bus. Our, our pa is about 25 minutes out of Tawamutu in the country. So all my cousins would catch the country bus to school. And I would plead my mother to send me with my cousins. And of course she said no. And I had no mates. You know, your cousins are your first mates, they say. Ana, no rera ka hoki au ki te pa, ki te marae, ka noho au i te pai pai. I was and I was telling the kids this morning, hey, tamaiti pākiki aho. Ne, ko te pākiki inquisitive, to the point of sending the person who you're asking questions, sending them insane. <laughs> so it was never enough for me. Ka pātai te, oh, ko whiao te rā maunga, oh, ko mea. How did it get its name? Oh, te mea, te mea, te mea. Nā wai whakamingua, ta, 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 ta. He a hai, ta, 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 ta. That was me growing up. But, ko taku wai mari e, i manaki ti au e aku kau mātua. Ne, ki te pātai. Ne. Nō rea ka haere ngā tau, of course, haere au ki mokoia, ōwhata ki mokoia, you do the, the triangle, i, I ōwhata, the true east-siders. <laughs> and i au i, I mokoia, i reira piwai. And I would have been 11, ko ia taku paua ko reo, and i tito au i tētahi pātere. And it was very, very simple, and i, noho, I paku noho a piwa i taku taha ki te, ki te manaki au, ki a tika te reo, o taku pātere. And all my pātere was about was me and mum travelling back to Tawamutu. You know, and ko te reo, tino kohanga reo nei ne, e haere ana māua ko taku māma i te waka i te, i te rori ki Tawamutu, ka hipa i te maunga o ngongo taha, ko te maunga o ngāti whakau e ahua pera, ne? Engari, koira taku tito ngā tuatahi. Nō reira, he pū mana wa te tito. Ne? He pū mana wa te tito. It's a taonga. He taonga tuku iho. Nō reira, tenga e mihi ana ki a koe. Ko koe te whakatina na tanga o te rā taonga. A i roto i tō iwi, i roto i o hapu. Whakamahi a te taonga. Kau e wai o te taonga ki a pue. Ne, I te mea, ka mōmu, me tuku tonu ki nā uri, nā e mōhi ana koe. Nō reira, I guess that part of my kōrero is, is if you notice that pūmanawa in any of your mokopuna or tamariki is to nurture it. Because we haven't got enough creative writing. We need to rethink more tētea is actually our creative writing. Ne, he huarahi e putai te pōuri, te pōkoko hua, te kanga, nā kare a roto, Te riri, ahatu, ahatu, ahatu. Ne? In a figurative, creative way. Koe rate mō tētea. Those are our novels, those are our, that's our Shakespeare, that's our Windsor. Um, koe rate, koe rate, um, koe rate mō tētea. Ki au. Nō rena, that's just a little window into me growing up between um, Te Arawa and then being nurtured by some of those people and there's many others. Uh, hoia no e mihi ana ki a kūtu katoa. Uh, kūtu Kwa na roki tua o wainuku mamao ki wainuku tawhiti. Uh, e iri tonu nei kūtau i tōku ngākau tēnā rā kūtau katoa.
All right, see. I... I know, please one more, because then... Uh... Ka pai, nō rira koe nei taku kaupapa, ko te ori ori. Ko te ori ori. Ana ki tāku, ko te ori ori, he huarahi whakāko nō ona mata, ki ana mata, hei whakatupu i te tamaiti. Koe nā te ori ori. Ki oku nei whakāra. And, um... It was actually Rangiti Nana who he called a Maya Kiai. Oh, I need to go up. I had to call her or Kite Ori Ori. Oh, yeah, Kapa. Um, and I'll leave that to all you um, learned translators to give a eloquent translation in, in English. I guess it's a, um, a path of learning from the past to the future to um, raise the child. Kapa no Rira Kuira Tira Wahanga o Te Ori Ori. Aye, next slide. Heaha te ori ori. What is an ori ori? What is ori ori? I'm going to give you maybe 30 seconds to talk to your mate next to you about what you know about ori ori. What is ori ori? Ne? That's fine if you want to Google it. Te tai e hua rewa, te ara o tawha, ki ipiki ai ki runga, i roko hi nga tūra, mai kuku mā kāka, hapa e o maui. Nā, what's that ori ori? Whine, whine. Ka pai? We know that we are tērā, and it's on my next page, a tai hoa. Ko rongo nui tērā o yata. And you know, I imagine our tūpuna, it's much like today when you've got the hits that come out. He fed a hooking our tupuna. Who did you hear? Pui wahi nes new wayata. Oh, what, what? Oh, he ne ko she didn't get with with te toko. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. So she was going back to tea for te toko because her brothers didn't agree with her. She stands up at all and she sang their song. Oh, have you heard me get the couples put another one out? Oh, you know, Takurako, na, 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 there's another one. Yeah, ngari te titi. Eh? Yeah. I imagine that's, koe nga te wairua ki te ahua o tātou mātua tūpuna. Yeah? I think we need to demystify mō tētea and bring them down to our roots level. Yes, we revere them. Yes, we respect them. Ae whakaranga tira nei ngā mō tētea. Ngari me whakaaro tātou. O tātou tūpuna he tangata. Ka pai he tangata. Tangata o tātou tūpuna. And you know, I've got um, one of the manuscripts I have from one of our kuya. Um, she was the Po Waiata. I've never met this kuya, but I've got her book. There's a hundred and something Waiata in there that she, all, that she knew. A lot of them, e hara yamato, 
they're not they're not they're not even timely. So that tells me that uh, our our people learn way up from other from other areas because they like the tunes. You know, and Tikoti is a fantastic example of that. He's the first person to remix Waiata. <laughs> you know? I don't know if you recall, Donna, we had uh, one of our hui matatini at Westbrook back in the day, and our uncle, and uh, we all got put into groups. And one of the things we were deliberating was what is original composition? Ne? I mean, you look at Pine Pine Te Kura. How many groups have you used that? Pine Pine Te Kura, Hau Te Kura, Ne? Pine Pine Te Kura, Ira Roi Awarua. How, what is really original? Ne? So anyway, uh, Raina Ferris challenged Tuhoi and Te Hai Ringa Tu because she said Te Koti pinched uh, Pine Pine Te Kura. And Timoti didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> so he went to another focus group. Look at the rangi of um, e Korea Ngati Hine Rangi Nui Ahau and Te Ra Te Awahi. Ne? Karongo Ngā Tūpuna i te tahi rangi, ka whakaaro, oh, I like that melody, I like that tune, I'm going to borrow that, I'm going to use that. E hara i te mea hou. Ka pai. And Te Koti is probably one of the famous ones that did that. Um, well, not only Pene Pene Te Kura, but uh, Te Waiata i Waiata hia e koe, tenga, nga puhi wahine te ira Waiata. And it was to do with the land sales in Te Kuiti at the time. And Te Koti was living in Te Kuiti. So he heard the waiata and he thought, oh, I'm going to take that, I like that. Ana. And he repurposed it. He fera o tato matua tupuna, he krewa. He krewa rato. Hoyano, kwene te te hiunga, reringa ketanga o te ori ori. Um, te reo karakia ensures the child is prepared for the challenges of life. Next one, please. Ori ori are not merely a lullaby. If there's anything I want you to go away tonight with, ko te muku i te rā kupu lullaby. E hara te ori ori, ka runga i te lullaby, I think of rock a bye baby in the treetop when the wind blows. Kare o tātou tupuna i, kare te ori ori i te pira. Kare kau. But, katai mai te pākeha, you know, and they saw our people singing, you know. Po po e tangi ana tana ki te kai mana waiho, and they thought, oh, look, it's a lullaby. Biff sees it, Smith sees it, and they write it, and it becomes true. Me mutu tata te kōrero, he lullaby, te ori ori, ne? Ki au kwenei ki te lalapa, te ori ori. It's a curriculum, a framework for intergeneration, intergenerational should be transmission of mātou ranga. Kwenei ki te ori ori. Ne, no reira, muku a te, a te kupu nei a lalapai. Hoi no, kia tiru hea e tātou, um, te kupu, ko tete atu kupu ki te ori ori, ko te popo. Ka pai, so we know, Tinga sang uh, one verse of uh, Popo, and that particular ori ori is about the origins of the Kumara. Now, if you study that ori ori, you will see in there, it talks about the um, divine origin of the Kumara. It also talks about when the Kumara should be planted, the stars that the, the Kumara should be planted, and when the Kumara should be harvested. Takumoyo au tera ori ori noroto mai o te aitanga mahaki. But that word popo, ne, popo was also a word for ori ori. He kupu ano te popo mo te ori ori. And popo means to do this. Ne, so when you, when you want to soothe your child, 
I o tohu to was popoi a te tamaiti. Not poi poi. Poi poi is this. A pai, koe nei te popo. Nei, and I'm going to come back to this, that rhythm um, later on. A pai. And i te rā nei kōrero te au te tahi um, whakatauki, ki te hāmama popoi a te tangata e kore e mau ika. E kore e mau te ika. Ka pai, nā rea, ko te popo, ko te hāmama popoi a ko te pene. Ne? Don't need a view doing that in my session. Ka <laughs> pai. I'll get back to this, but um, me whakaaro tātou ki etahi o a tātou tikanga. So one of my aunties, and I don't, you know, uh, because he whakai te taku auntie, engari nā nau i ako ki ngā tikanga. So you can learn the motetea, and then there's tikanga with the motetea. Ka pai, and she, a lot of the time, ko tāna whakaako i au, he, he, he miri miri au, he āwhina i au, ne, kāre he kupu. So I'll give you an example. Eu era tangi, te tei tangi hanga. And it just happens a lot of tangi hanga. Ka hare ka anuho te manuhiri, me te tangata whenua. Oh, here, kei kora te tūpāpaku. Tangata whenua get up, and they sing to the manuhiri. Manuhiri get up, they sing to the tangata whenua. Like it's Mata Tsini or something. Ne? So we were at this tangi, I was, a, I was a teenager, and I was singing my heart out. And ko taku auntie tēne, ko te teina tēne o taku mama, te huru whakarewa. And um, she learned alongside Korohiko when she lived in Mamaku. Anyway, I'm doing my way out the tangi, and I'm following everybody else. And I just ever so softly feel my auntie's hands on my hips. And she just turned me. Ne? To the two papaku. So in that moment, I got, oh, of course, it's a tangi. <laughs> hey, we need to think about, you know, nga tikanga uh, i a tātou e wai a tāna, i, e tuku ana i a tātou e wai Engari, e te papa, hone. That's just the life of a wai a tā. Ka pai, wai a tā wax and wai. You know, I remember when I couldn't wait to learn kaore te aroha ki te kroori a tapu. Same back home. Whakatauranga used to be one of the popular waiata, the Pumi rope, Uncle Pumi. And now one has been sort of replaced by another waiata, a recent one that's been written in the past 20 years. Um, e kore te aroha nei. That's just how waiata live amongst us. Ka pai, engari, he pai teira, engari, kaua e waiho ki a mahu e e rātu waiata. The thing is, e te whānau, the place where we find ourselves singing more te most of the time are tangihanga. And this is part of my whakātūranga is we need to look for new spaces for our more te to live in. Ne? Because, you know, other than tangihanga and whakataitai, i paku kōrero au i te rāne mo te kuarāwekeweke tia o tātou whakāro e te, e te whakataitai. If you listen to all the old recordings, and I do a lot of it. You know, my way is going, oh God, listen to those crow and kui again. I love it. You know, I'm in the room listening. <laughs> Tino rere ke i ngā mai whakataitai. Those of you that listen to those old recordings, nera. You know, but because nā te whakataitai, you know, we look about pronunciation, enunciation, got to do this, got to do that, you know, everybody on time. But 
Hika, ona marae, not very often everybody's in time. He wai lua no tō te waiata. So I think, you know, for groups to really hit it uh, in any competition is to maintain the wai lua Māori or te waiata ne, um, while also having another foot planted in the, the competition camp. Nō reira, koina e tai hawaku whakaaro mō te mō tētei roto i te. I know back in the day, hey, Uncle Chev, they, you did deliberate whether mō tētei would be a part of um, a bracket. Because a lot of the kuia and korewa of the time didn't like the fact that their, the compositions of our ancestors were going to be judged. Yeah. Yeah. And that is still something that um, some kapahaka, I won't name them, they'd rather do a modern mō tētea, for want of a better word, one that's been composed than one that one of their tūpuna wrote because they don't want their tūpuna being judged. Kapai. So atu i te tangihanga, and, you know, tangihanga in any culture, or our rituals of death in any culture, which I learned in anthropology, and I didn't do quite well in that at varsity, but one thing I did learn was that's where you will see the highest confluence of a people's practices and customs is in their death rites. It's the last bastion. Kapai. And, you know, I can get a good gauge by going to a tetei hapu iwi, I can get a good gauge of their cultural health by how their paipai is. And when I say paipai, I mean karanga, whaikorero, mō tetea, and kimuri. I can get a good, good sense, that's my gauge of how the, the health of the hapu is, is by how they run a tangihanga. Hoia no waiho tērā kōrero ki te tāna. Um, so koinei ki au te ori ori, curriculum, a framework for intergenerational transmission of mā tauranga. And next slide, please. I had it on me. And Tenga touched on, um, yep, next one, all three. <coughs> so I sung a little bit of Pine Pine Te Kura. Um, for Te Umurangi, ne, composed for Te Umurangi, uh, no Ngāti Te Whatui Āpiti, Ngāti Kahungunu. Ka pai. Now you all knew it was Pine Pine Te Kura. I didn't start with Pine Pine Te Kura, but in Mōhio Koutou ko Pine Pine Te Kura, ko Rongo Nui, of course Pōpō, and then this monstrosity of an Ori Ori, if you do know this Ori Ori, and if you are a Motetea nerd like me, you should study it. Ka pai te ori ori a tu tere moana. Um, ngāti, ngāti taraika, o ngai tara, uh, whom uh, te whanganui a tara is named after, te tupuna taraika. Uh, ngai tara, rangita ne muau poko. Ka pai. And one of your koraua, uh, ai, he was a reverend. Paura Temuera, he recorded this ori ori. Uh, when he was doing his ministerial office in Otaki. So, have a look at uh, that one. And then, within uh, Ngāti Raukawa, we've got um, E Tama Te Whainguha Ki Au, you've got E Hine Aku in Rangitāne. Uh, there's only one tainui one I know of, other than E Tama Te Whaimuna, is uh, Waiata uh, from Ngāti Mana Puto Rerea, who is uh, Te Ori Ori uh, Hine Ki Ore. So, koe nei etahi kōrero e pāna ki te ori ori. And, um, next slide. Uh, so, if you don't know, I'm Ngāti Raukawa. <laughs> also though, i te taha o taku kuia he mania po tohere reo. But we grew up, we were brought up, my, my nan said to me, you know, uh, i moe au i tō koreu a hei iwi mōku. It's pretty old school. So yes, I'm Raukawa, and I also am a trustee for Raukawa, and I do mahi for Raukawa, the entity. And one of the projects that um, I'm involved with at the moment is Te Manawa Pauhihiri, and this is our mātou ranga Raukawa framework. Ka pai. Ana ko tā mātou, he wānanga, what are some of the teachings, learnings of our mātua tūpuna that we can bring into the world that is missing? I roto i a mātau i a raukawa. 
So kuera te mātau ranga. And one of the things that dropped out of our framework was wānanga ukaipō. Wānanga ukaipō. Ukaipō is also the name of one of the marae. If you come down the Kaimai Ranges, Te Arapōhatu, that's the, the road Mahinārangi followed, uh, came down, and that's where she started feeding Rokawa. And that marae there is called Ukaipō. And that wānanga is for parents, uh, grandparents, whānau, and it's all about traditional child-rearing practices, birthing, ne, me rā me katoa. I taka mai tērā, uh, ka rongo rātou, kei te whakahaere au i tētahi wānanga karakia, ne, and kei ko nei taku karangata maiti a uh, wharehuia. Um, so, I'm also teaching karakia Māori, so I'm not getting pulled everywhere. Ne, um, they're able to go and hahu when they need to, some bones, or open a house. And that, that was supported, it didn't fall out, but supported by Te Mano Pohihiri. Anyway, we were sitting there and we were talking about uh, ngā mahi a ngā mātua tūpuna. And I came up with this idea, I said, we need an oriori. And my mate, Missy Lord, she said, oh, cool. And then um, we sat down and her idea of oriori was like this. <laughs> but when I really thought about oriori and how we can use oriori as a people, ki te whakaako i a mātou, not just the, not only the tamaiti gets the mātauranga though, everybody in the whare that is learning, the ori, singing the oriori learns the mātauranga alongside the tamaiti. Ne, i ai e kōpuana. Ka pai. So I was like, okay, I'm going to compose this oriori. And then I got a hui together. Ne? And I thought, ah, oh, one thing I learned from Koro Iwi, uh, Ngāti Rauka wa teuki te tunga, he said, oh, pui, you know, Ere Nora. This is going live, eh? <laughs> a lot of those composers, particularly with our pātere, they didn't have the knowledge of the whakapapa. So they would pull in this one. They didn't have the knowledge of the maunga and the awa for some of the rohe, so they'd pull in another one. So having a creative core, which we have for some of our kapaaka, most kapaaka, isn't a new thing. Some of these great composers, particularly the pātere, they had a group that would help them. But i te mea, ko rātou te mea whai mana, their name goes on it. Ka pai, but they would have some help. So I thought, oh, I'm going to bring my group together. Um, I wanted to hear from some parents. Now, who and I haven't been blessed yet with Tamariki. So I called in some parents. We had a baby there, um, some kaumātua, and we had a hui about what this oriori would contain. Ne? And then I said, right, this, 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 this. And probably one thing I'll share with you is we decided that the oriori would correspond to the years of the child. Kapai. So the oriori, each verse goes from um, te kōpū uh, ki te taitamatanga, uh, te taitamahine tangarane o te kōtiro, up until puberty. So a verse for each year from the time they're in the puku. Kapai. So the first verse, the mother and father sing while the mother is hapu. And that's the only verse they learn, and that's the only verse they sing. When she's getting ready, when she's ready, kwa karita ki te whakawhānau i tanu tamaiti, kwa ako rāua i te whiti tuarua, ka whānau mana te tamaiti, when, they, when the tamaiti is born, they've learnt the second verse, they sing the second verse to the child as a whānau. And they only sing that verse, first verse, second verse. In the child's second year, they sing the third verse. Kapai. Now, remember that slide I was saying, it's going to have battles, it's going to have marriages, it's going to have tūtohu whenua. You know what I mean, singing all that to a puku? <laughs> ne? Poor child hasn't even come out, it's not ready to, to learn about battles and death and all that sort of thing. So I put all of that into the later verses, or verse. I put all of the pakanga, one is here. I patu a taku tupu nai ko nai, a pipito. Ki muri tata nai. Ne? 
And so the child learns that, yeah, sometimes he toy nga tupuna, but sometimes, nah, we've got our asses whipped. <laughs> nah? So that child knows, learning the histories, that you're not going to win all the time, but always give your best. <coughs> nah? Because, you know, our history can be a bit one-sided. We always win and we beat them. <laughs> so that's, that was one of the big decisions, Fakato that came out of our hui, out of our wānanga. We had a good wa day's wānanga of that. And then, um, actually, I got the rangahu around the other way. Then I went to rangahu and I thought, right, what's actually going to go in there? Ne? And then I started writing. Yeah, so writing, uh, composing, I should say, is quite a process for me. Um, I was 21 when I composed the first Pātere for Wakahuya. Um, it took me, um, took me about a month. The first cut, it was 10 minutes. And the Pātere Te Hauki Tāmaki is all about the history of Tāmaki Makaurau. And that's what Uncle Bab and... Auntie Nen wanted something about Tamaki Makoto. Now there's a lot of kōrero up there. So, you know, I learned there, you know, Taurawa's got a kōrero, Tainui's got a kōrero, Whātua's got a kōrero, um, Mātātua's got a kōrero, then the patu, there's kōrero patu pairehe. So first cut was 10 minutes, take that verse, then it went down to 7 minutes, then it went down to 5 minutes, and I said, 5 minutes is it? And Tāp said, nah bro, it's got to be 3 and a half minutes. Ka pai? So what did I do? I just sped it up. <laughs> <laughs> to fit all that kōrero in. I was like, nah, nah, I'm not cutting this out. I'm um, not. Those are sort of the, some of the things. It's just giving you an insight in, into the, the composing process. You know, and e māra ma pai ana. Tenga mētahi anō taku, um, taku rangatira e noho nei a rangitihi. You know, sometimes yes, it just falls out of the sky. You know, kupu in one hand, rangi in the other, oh, beautiful. And other times, kao. Ne? Me heke te wera wera. E me heke te wera wera. So that was a big thing of me thinking, ooh, what's going to go on this? Next slide. One of my inspirations for this oriori is Queen Nili Uakalani. And um, if you know Ngā Kōrero Tukui Ho Tātou uh, Huanga or Hawaii, they have a way out called the Kūnulipo. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. And it is about their creation. Kapai. And this is how I thought about our Oriori. Mō mātou mō raukawa. Ne? I thought of the Oriori as a song of singing oneself into being, into creation. Kapai. So that's the philosophy that, that guided me. I got inspiration from our huanga in Hawaii, from the Kumuli Po, plus all of my learnings and all of my teachings to compose this oriori. Ne? Singing yourself into creation. Now, you know, I just want you to think on an individual level. If you were to write an audiori about yourself as a person, what would be in that audiori? What would you leave? What would you include there in your life's history? Kapai? Just ponder on that for a little bit. Now think of that in terms of your hapu or iwi. There. You can see the challenges of what you're going to include and what you're going to leave out. Kapai? So, um, e mihi anau, uh, ana, e hoki anau ki te rā kōrero, ki te inu koe, ina inu koe te wai, me mahara ki te puna. Ka pai. Next slide, please. So, kō ku whakaaro e nei ki te ahakoa he hā te, te wai ata te mō te te rā nei. Ko oro rāwa ko mana wataki te waka o kupu, ko kupu te waka o whakaaro. Ko reo te waka e kotahi ai aua mea katoa ki roto i te waiata. Yeah. And there's a synergy between all of them. And when you have the balance of all of those things working together, you have magic. 
Apoi, and we all know how motete and that tika a motete can move you to tears. It can diffuse a situation, and it can it can incite, it can invigorate, it can inspire. <coughs> ne? That's the magic of motete. Ne? Ana kuera me kato e mahitahi ana. Don't even get me on the sonic of a motete and the formula of language, but. Going back to this, um, so the motete, uh, sorry, the ori ori as it sits now, is um, we've, I'm actually recording the rest of it tomorrow, or no, Thursday. We've recorded one half, and currently it sits at nearly 20 minutes. Kuira te roa o te ori ori. I have composed it, designed it in a way that one, it can be used as an ori ori, or it can be used, particular verses, as karakia. Depending on where the iwi is, they can take this verse out. Okay, I'm going to sing this because we're in Te Tai I'm going to sing this verse because we're in Matatua. I'm going to sing this verse to my mate who's hapu, and because her husband's not cutting it and looking after her. And this verse talks about how Tafaki helped his wife to birth their child. Kapai. So that's how I compose the ori ori. It's a life's work really, uh, all in one composition. I put my, my heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into, into this waiata, into this ori ori. Um, so yeah, the thing is, our concept of time, when we say, oh, that's a long waiata, waiata ro tera. You know, I te kōrero tia nga rīpoenga, manuscripts a te rangi kāheke, me tērā momo mā mā noiho ki a rātou. Mā mā noiho ki a rātou. There's nothing stopping us to um, bring back and embody that magic that our tūpuna had. Kei roto i o tātou ngā kau katoa. Tērā, tērā wairua, tērā mauri, tērā ahuatanga. I roto i o tātou katoa. Nō reira, koira e tehi o ngā whakaaro ki te ori ori uh, and, you know, rangitihi you know, in, in the music industry Pākei music industry they talk about the hook Ne? So one of my styles of composition is my mō te te have a hook and that particular one, uh, te te kaumārua the hook was ka tau ka pai now, if anybody went away remembering that, then ka pai. <laughs> ne? And he pera anō ki tēnei, um, ka kite koutou, uh, ko, te, ko, te, ko te kupu ka tō ai tia, uh, ko te e onge aku. And onge is um, a kupu that I've heard my kaumātua use in relation to taonga tukuiho, o iti kahurangi. And one that isn't used anymore, so iwi-centric. Um... And that particular sentence structure, e onge aku, you know, you could say e tamaku, e hineaku, it isn't a sentence structure that you hear often. So as a writer, as a composer, I always challenge myself to um, compose something that if anybody was to sing it, they would think that it was written years ago. Kapai, while still embedding some contemporary elements into the composition. Ka pai ki au, koe rau te trick, o te tito, ki oku nei whakaaro, ki oku nei whakaaro. Hoi anō, and I know I've got eight minutes to kai. We'll go to the last one. Ah, ka pai, Matua, you reminded me. So this is the first verse, and um, it's very uh, Tainui-centric. Tainui has a unique creation kōrero. We talk about, um, like Te Arawa Tiki, but we have a kōrero about um, Hani and Puna. And Hani and Puna are the two toka at Kafia that mark uh, Te Ihu me te kei o Tainui Waka, and they factor in our creation story. Look, if I was to dig out each line, 
Iti te kupu nui te kōrero, there'd be a wānanga for each of these lines. Kapai? But one of the other magical things composers do is each line, each kupu is a touchstone. He kurahuna. What you see on the surface is the um, exoteric. Ne? He kura awatea, te kura whākina. You don't get the kurahuna until you wānanga with the kupu. Ne? Then you get the esoteric. Kapai. Now, just in short, uh, Rangitī was saying, oh, you should speed it up. When we put down the recorded the verse, I put all of the pakanga into one verse. Na pakanga to katoa. E ai ki oku whakaro, these were the pakanga that um, impact, affected the history of Ngāti Raukawa as a people. Ne? But within those pakanga we all say the tatau bonam, kapai, so the peace that came afterwards. And sort of to say to the, the, the tamaiti, you know, yeah, have your ready and then get over it, move on. You know, some of us, we don't take. We say, oh, kia ore, kare, oh, bitch. When they go, <laughs> hey, don't really mean it. So, um, kutera fiti mo tera. Um, anyway, when we got to the, <laughs> when we got to the verse about uh, the pakanga, we found, I found, that we were turning it into a pātere. Kapai. So I had a, um, two really good people in studio, Zach and Jade Tapine, and Jack, Jade's got a good ear. And I said, bro, me me kio whakaro kairi te pai me ki mai, ne? And Kevin goes, bro, I think it's starting to sound like a pātere. Now why? It's because we're talking about pakanga. So as we were recording, I looked at the amount of syllables in a line. Now, if you compare the amount of syllables as per the rhythm of a pātere, the manawataki, to the amount of syllables and words in the ori ori, they're very different. Kapai? So I actually had to rewrite the verse while we were singing, putting it down on track, and we had to relearn the rangi with the verse because we couldn't help ourselves. We kept going there. I thought, oh, maybe it's a riri rawa, ngā kōrero but it was actually the formula of the words that I used. Kapai, it's like a mad scientist of motete or something. <laughs> no reira, I'm going back to the popo. So any time I felt that we were going off track, I would go back to the popo. Now don't forget, when you're popo, when you're nursing the baby, E o ngē a kue, hine i a hua ki te pō, uri uri tama i a pō, ki te pō tango tango whakarongo rā kōpū mai, ki kau fauti a tō, a hunga ki toi e reti a tō, take take ngā i o tupu a i o, ariki he tātai, nō tua hakarere i ho nō pā i o, o kore nui kore para kore pifi a kore rawe a i a i o take take i a i o matangaro i a i o te wā nanga wā nanga nanga te ao wā nanga nanga te pō karongo te pō karongo te ao kohani te wai wai ki mi atu kopu na waka tupu tanga takara rapara ko tiki te pō mua te pō uro Koto ko tiki tawhito ari ki ko tiki ahua mai Hawaii Ki ko mana wako ranga hau koi ara ta ranga hau Tanga i te ao pakarea ki te ao Paka ki na ka hau to mana wako i a mana wati na koi a mana wato ka koi a mana wako kau ora He mauri ka puta kai waha kai te ao marama E o nge a kue. Nō reira, koe rā te whiti tuatahi. Yeah, and that's what, when I sing, they're like, te rā whiti tuatahi. You know, my cousin's going, oh, this is our next bracket, that can be the whakeke, that can be the motete, next verse, the wea tāringa, poe, haka, whakawate, and we still got some for the next one. Ne? Engari, koe rā te manawataki. Ne? And if you listen to those recordings, 
and you match it with the pawpaw, how you nurture the child, you won't go off the track with the, with, in terms of the rhythm of your mana wataki. Kapai. So that's what we did. I rewrote the verse. Uh, and I said, right. And that brought us back the pōpō, that rhythm of, the, of nursing the child, of the tamaiti. Morera kuira te uh, ori ori. This is the first verse. Um, you're very, very lucky. I te mea kare anō taku iwi ki arongo i tēnei kōrero. Uh, engari, i runga i taku aroha ki te iwi nā nā rā au i manaaki. I au e, I au e tamariki ana i whakaro au kao. Uh, kia kōrero ti atu e au te ori ori kia koutou. Hewi anō koutou nōku. Ne, hewi anō koutou nōku. I do have a Tarawa side, Tapuika, it's not very well known. I've said it publicly now, there you go. <laughs> um, and, and, and we're launching this, um, the full Ori Ori, of course, um, next month, uh, Muri uh, Matariki. And we're launching the Ori Ori. Uh, we're having a two day wānanga to teach the Ori Ori. And then um, the future of the Ori Ori is to have a companion reader, uh, a puka puka, tētahi ki te reo Māori, tētahi ki te reo Pākehā, and each verse will have a chapter. Some of these lines require a chapter. Ne? Engari, um, hei hoa haere uh, mō te ori ori nei. Nō reira, kuira, kuira tāku, uh, kei taku rahi, me taku ki atu, uh, āwhea koutou tahuria u ki te tito ori ori. Uh, hei taonga tuku iho ki a koutou tamariki moko puna, ki a te arawa o rātou whakaaro, ki a whakau e a rātou kōrero, ki a tūhaurangi tā rātou kau e a rātou, ki a piki au tā rātou haere i te au, a waiake, a waiake, i roto i a te arawa. Uh, me koe nei taku whakatenga tēnā i a koutou, i runga anō i te whakatenga tēnā mai a etahi o koutou ku i a koroua i Waimari e rāhau i te wā, O rātau e o rāna. Nō reira i runga i tērā, e mihi aki ana ki a tātou katoa, huri huri noa, a tēnā tātou katoa. Right on time. So, uh, if you have questions for Plani, wait till he gets a cup of tea and a snack at the end of the month. Please don't go home without going, coming with us to Whakatūria. Yeah, we'll end our week there. But, uh, you know, on behalf of all of us, uh, Tēnā, Plāne, Nihau, Ngāko. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're going to get past our two main ones called by uh, Te <laughs> But uh, just to, what you said, both you said, learning by ear resonates. I went to two summer wānanga with Uncle uh, Tola. You know, we get there at 5 o'clock on a Monday. Lie down, lie up, <coughs> to a hitty hitty. 45 minutes later, because it went for now, 45 minutes later, I was snoring. <laughs> that doesn't work for everyone. <laughs>